If you're dealing with thinning hair or hair loss, and if you aren't getting enough of this nutrient in your diet, then all the minoxidil, propecia, saw palmetto, rosemary oil, what else is there? Microneedling will only do so much. What would happen if you wanted to cherry pick the best amino acid with the greatest benefits to muscle gain and supplement with that? Then you'd be supplementing with leucine. But it doesn't just have major benefits related to athletic performance and muscle growth. It's also one of the most basic and important nutrients for our hair. Without enough of it, we can easily develop hair thinning and hair loss. So let's take a look. I'm sure you're aware of protein and how important it is for our body. And people say proteins are the building blocks of the body a lot. But in reality, the true building blocks of the body are what the protein is actually made up of, which is a selection of various amino acids. All of these amino acids serve different purposes in the body. Because of this, in order for a food to be considered an adequate protein source, a food needs to contain all nine of the essential amino acids necessary for the dietary needs of us humans. As I said, each of these essential amino acids has a different function in the body. Here's a quick summary on amino acids. There are 20 amino acids in total. 11 are non-essential, meaning your body synthesizes them sufficiently. The other nine are essential, meaning your body doesn't produce enough of them and they need to be obtained through diet. Among the nine essential amino acids, there are three branched chain amino acids, BCAAs, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. BCAAs receive a lot of attention these days in the fitness and also the scientific research uh, world for their role in muscle protein synthesis and uh, recovery following exercise. So like we already said, leucine is one of the three necessary branched chain amino acids. Skeletal muscles can use these amino acids to provide energy when we're working out. And consuming full protein rich diets such as meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and milk, right? These are not the only foods and I'll come to that in a bit, provides an adequate supply of these amino acids. Consuming amino leucine increases muscle growth enhances exercise performance and facilitates recovery from exercise. It may also aid in bone and skin repair, and it might promote the growth of lean body mass and muscles and human growth hormone production increases through it. By the way, leucine seems to offer the most health benefits to older adults, especially those with age related muscle loss or sarcopenia uh, when combined with strength training. So this is a huge and another reason why I'm supplementing with leucine as I'm getting older, I'm turning 50 next year, to make sure I'm getting enough of it, right? But it is not only the muscle building aspects that leucine is known for, it also plays a key role in hair health, which is why you clicked on this video. One of the things leucine does is it stimulates collagen, especially in our hair. So leucine plays a critical role in protein synthesis, including the production of the hair protein keratin. Leucine makes the hair follicles healthy by providing them with the required nutrients. And also, this is very significant, it helps us absorb iron. And a deficiency in iron is also very common in people who are dealing with hair loss. Typically you hear that the foods with the most leucine content are red meat, eggs, chicken, dairy, and all of that is obviously animal protein. But this doesn't mean you have to consume a ton of those foods to get enough leucine. I don't eat that much meat. I'm not a vegetarian, I like meat, but I don't wanna to eat too much of it for many reasons. But thankfully, plant-based protein also contains leucine, just not as much of it. I will list the foods which contain the highest amounts of leucine in just a bit, and you'll be surprised how many plant foods are a part of that list. Here are some specific leucine benefits for our hair. Leucine plays a critical role in protein synthesis, like we already said, including the production of the hair protein keratin. Leucine may help stimulate the growth of cells inside the hair follicles. This can be a stimulating factor that influences the growth of hair, causing it to become fuller. Leucine plays a key role in the care of scalp health, which is a vital factor in preventing hair loss. A healthy scalp is the best foundation for hair follicles, thus decreasing the chances of excessive hair shedding and increasing the ability of new hair strands to grow. Leucine also improves hair elasticity, right? It's an amino acid that helps maintain structural integrity 
and improves hair elasticity, which means it makes it less vulnerable to damage from, you know, any kind of styling, brushing, or even other environmental stressors. So how much leucine do we need per day? It takes about 2.5 grams of leucine to turn on the body's muscle building process for five to six hours. So this is a threshold that we should aim to hit during each meal, right? It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. While there's no one size fits all approach to nutrition and fitness, right? You generally require more leucine if you're physically active or an older adult. So we should think about consuming about two and a half to three grams of leucine per meal if you're a younger adult, under 60, let's say and four to five grams per meal if you're an older adult. This works out to roughly seven to nine grams or 12 to 15 grams of leucine per day for younger and then older adults uh, respectively. But getting enough leucine is essential for everyone, not just athletes and older adults. Consistently low leucine levels can result in several side effects, including lack of appetite, lethargy, poor growth and development, weight loss, uh, skin rashes, and hair loss. Without sufficient leucine intake, our muscles will break down to provide higher priority organs like the brain, liver, kidneys, and the heart with their respective leucine requirements. This is fascinating. So we definitely don't want that. We're trying to get about 12 grams daily, right? So what I do, apart from doing my best to eat a you know nutrient-dense diet that is high in protein, I take a leucine supplement. Every day I supplement with 2000 milligrams and I pay attention to consuming foods with high leucine content. And on the days that I don't eat meat, I will take that dosage twice. So I will take 2000 milligrams with lunch and then again, 2000 milligrams with dinner. By the way, do you like my t-shirt? If you do, you can get one in my store. Living fully, aging slowly. I have quite a few t-shirt designs with some inspiring anti-aging messages and also some goofy ones. And it's not all t-shirts, it's also other items. So go take a look. The t-shirts are fitted, but they're not too tight. I still like to go uh, one size up. So this is a large, it's nice and snug at the arms, but it's really relaxed everywhere else. I feel like it's the most comfortable fit and that way, you don't have to be nervous about it shrinking too quick. So yeah, take a look at my new store and I really appreciate your support. Back to leucine. Some people don't like taking supplements. What? Or they're already taking a few and they don't want to take more pills, right? I understand. And the powder, by the way, tastes very nasty. So I wouldn't recommend taking it that way. I take capsules so I don't have to taste it. But if you prefer getting your nutrients from foods rather than supplements, and I think a food first approach, you know, it's never a bad approach. Then here are the foods with the highest leucine content. Chicken, like we already said, chicken, beef um, have really high leucine content, six, around six grams um, per hundred grams. Uh, fish, salmon, tuna, three grams per hundred grams. But then tofu has just as much leucine as fish, 2.8 grams per hundred grams, I think. Spirulina also has 2.6 grams per 100 grams. Peanut butter, almost two grams per 100 grams. And then lentils. Lentils are super healthy, but they're also high in leucine, 1.3 grams per 100 grams. Pumpkin seeds as well. And then almonds and peanuts. Unfortunately, walnuts, which is my preferred nut, walnuts are so healthy, but they actually don't have that much leucine. So almonds and peanuts are the nuts that contain most leucine. And then of course, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese also has about one gram per 100 grams. And then quinoa, quinoa and oats have a lot of leucine as well, um, just under one gram per 100 grams. And then chickpeas, black beans has about 0.6 grams, brown rice as well. Another amino acid that has potential benefits for our hair, but also has many other benefits is glycine, which I've been taking daily for a while and I probably will never stop taking. There are just too many benefits. And I made a video about that, so check that out next if you want. And that's it. I have a couple of links down below, not sponsored, of some leucine products that I think are good, and check out my store. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.